This week on the Cruising Kiwis. So where's the apology? Just stood on a bird. Anybody who sails will know that ropes are magnets for propellers. This is Rob. And I'm Rachel. And these are our boys, Finn, Declan and Ivan. We've sailed our catamaran Javelot across the Pacific Ocean. We'd love if you'd join us for the adventure. Last week you joined us as we prepared to leave Fiji for Vanuatu, but we were forced to abandon our departure because Hiker fell ill. The primary suspect was Rob's fish curry. The barracuda used to make it, we speculated, had caused Hiker to develop cigatera poisoning. No poison? It's okay. <laughs> so what is cigatera? Dinoflagellates are ocean bacteria that travel around with a large number of marine plankton. The plankton is eaten by small reef fish, which are then ingested by bigger marine predators, up the food chain to us. Cigatera is harmless to fish but toxic to humans. It's odourless and it doesn't break down when cooking. It causes vomiting, diarrhoea, muscle pain, numbness, itching and in very rare cases, death. One unique symptom of cigatera is the reversal of hot and cold sensations. With that in mind, we grabbed a cold beer from the fridge to check how Hiker would react to it. Feel this. How does that feel? It's cold. Okay. Yeah. Because of, but is it super it? cold? Yeah, but you don't feel it hot. Because it's apparently hot. if it's cold, yeah. it should feel hot. Burning. Yeah. And that is electrolytes. Um, so you should probably have some of that to combat the vomiting. How are you feeling now? Some... Still a bit sick? So it's all diluted now. Okay. And it's just, it's just got, um, mm, yeah. Salt and sugar. Yeah. And I'll leave it in the fridge for you. So Robert, yeah. may not have been your fish curry as it turns out. No, it, no, it absolutely wasn't. It was like false accusation. My fish curries have been under un, unjustly maligned, actually, I reckon. In fact, I look, I use quality ingredients. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like quality. <laughs> it is. It's lemongrass. It goes into some curries. Uh, yeah, so I think I deserve an apology. I mean, you may recall when I first caught barracuda back in um, the Lao group, I actually did a lot of research because I was a bit anxious about it back then, about whether we'd catch some sort of horrible disease. And... Um, and yeah, it said that area was really unlikely. Most of it is in the Americas where you get, you know. Although having said that, they, they say just about any fish that's a, a, an eating fish can have cicatera. It's like, definitely not New Zealand. You wouldn't eat barracuda in New Zealand. They're full of worms. I know that much. Mm. So where's the apology? Today. I don't think you've ever killed anyone. <laughs> what? what? What are you? I've totally killed people. Declan, Declan's private reviews. Yeah. It's really hot, and we're gonna go for a swim, and we're gonna use this thing, and take some nice underwater shots because this <laughs> has this time on it and then they can get under over water shots. You sound really excited. Yep, and I'm tired because I can't see because it's hot and sticky. <laughs> Thank you for that product review. We're about to go and jump off the second spreader of the mast. Me oh, and I like Finn. Stick one. Oh, what? 
Yes, it is. And you're moving with the camera, it doesn't work. It does work. I made it work. Declan, what are you doing? We are jumping off the boat. Why are you jumping off the boat? Because this is our last day in Fiji and we would be leaving right now but there's no wind and it's really hot and so we're going to go for a swim but we're going to jump off the very top spreader of the mast because we can and Absolutely. we've never done it before. So we're gearing up. Well Rachel practices her Olympic performance for the jump of a lifetime. We're all on the edge of our seats. <laughs> I wasn't ready, I was just practicing. <laughs> Keep practicing. So I, I, was I would practice my, my moves. And Heike, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay ish. Oh. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. You're feeling okay ish. It's probably a good thing we're not going today. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. The boys have just climbed up the halyard. The expendable middle child is at the top. No, he to wants to jump off the top spreader, and I'm saying no. He's going to jump off the first spreader. Man. Are you serious about jumping, Declan? Ah, uh, far out. This is actually pretty high. Really? No, it's not. No, I think I will just go first. Okay. Uh, I don't, I, this height okay, Declan, just I'm going. Ready? I think I'm just gonna wuss out on this one. Uh, I don't blame you. I've done you. it off something this height before. Have you? Yeah. What? Like the Raglan Bridge. Nah. No, Raglan Bridge isn't this high. No, no way. No, that's way higher. This feels like the Raglan Bridge at low tide. Yeah, oh maybe, oh maybe, yeah. Off the top bar. Hard to say. Two, yep. One. Now for the real deal. <laughs> I've been soaking myself up for this all morning. I've written notes to myself what to do if something goes wrong. Just be calm and just go. Just go. And I died. Thank you very much. We're saying goodbye to beautiful Fiji. Beautiful Fiji. We've got the sails up. It's been lovely. We're gonna miss ya. west on course for Tana Island, Vanuatu, a trip of 452 nautical miles, which is about 840 kilometers and should take three days. We all know that three days at sea are rarely uneventful. Here's some big ones, look at this. It is, it is too, it's the pumice. Look at that. That's from that volcano that went off near Tonga somewhere. And um, I just noticed what it looked like strings of poo in the water. Uh, but it wasn't poo, it was another pea litter. It was pumice. Yeah. Nice. Pumice is a lightweight, bubble rich rock that can float on water. It is produced when lava goes through rapid cooling and loss of gases. These pumice ribbons we were sailing through were the remains of an underwater volcanic eruption in Tonga two months earlier and were just the start of a number of bizarre events to mark our first 24 hours at sea. So it's all go here because uh, the wind has just dropped right off. I dropped the main, what is it, about 2 o'clock in the morning? Uh, first night of our journey to Tanner Island, Vanuatu. And um, it's 
started port engine, ran it for about five minutes, and then suddenly it just stopped, just just stopped. And that's a classic sign of something getting caught in the propeller. Um, so it could be some old fishing line, could be an old rope floating in the rope, I don't know. We have to wait and see in the morning. I'm gonna have a look at it in the morning, not now. Um, and so we started starboard engine and we're putting along that. Now if it's more than the uh, just a rope caught in the propeller, like a, something serious, we're gonna to have to turn back to TG and get going to Wunder Marina because it's the only place that can haul out if it's a haul out job. But we won't know until the morning. But just prior to that, just stood on a bird sitting in our cockpit. So what have we found here, Hiker? I actually stood on it and it squawked. I was just sitting there. Huge I saw it flying around the boat earlier this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. That little black one, that must be the fella. He looks a bit tired. Got a white hat. Far out. Oh, you woke him up. I did, I woke him up. Oh, poor guy. Hard case how it squawked. It's pretty. That's a cute, isn't he? Yeah. Any idea what he is? Sure, some sort of turn. Got a long, long, long beak. needle beak. Yeah. And a white head. He's obviously exhausted. Yeah. It's all go. <laughs> it's all go on the good ship Shiplock. Cruising Kiwis. Anybody who sails will know that ropes are magnets for propellers and uh, this boat is no different. A rogue rope is left on the... There's the flugel binder. Just, just slowly Finn. The rope that attaches that we hold out the Genoa with. There was extra of it left on the deck and somehow even in calm conditions yeah, yesterday it managed yeah. to jump off the deck oh, no, and found so. its way I mean, who who was on on watch when that happens? What happened? <laughs> when the when the rope got stuck in the propeller? Oh, yeah. I don't want yeah, to name I'll, names. I'll just, I'll just gone, point. I just got <laughs> on the ship. When it happened, Ben, what are you doing? Just staying. You. Just... Ben's planning that once we get anything, he's going to leave us. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I've got a couple of knives here. Let's do it. I think we need them. I don't think I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> if we get a don't kill your wife. We're just eating for death that way. Each other. <laughs> give give car. give Rachel the bigger knife. <laughs> Good luck, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. You're on shark watch. On shark watch? Okay. Don't get hurt by the pumice. A nice refreshing morning swim. You lit the fumes, I took the blame. But I know better now. But I know better now. There was a night I should. What? That's that's it. This drama here. We knocked it off. Fortunately, the thick piece of rope, so it didn't go right inside the mechanism, inside the shaft. So it was easy to get off. It was. Yeah. It was good. It was just a good little drink. That's all really. Nice cool off. It's yeah, a warm morning. Yeah, let's get this Jennifer up, eh? Next 
morning and our little friend is still here. Oh, he's a little cutie. Look at his little pedal feet. He's just a little flutter up to the deck. He must be really close to departure. Thanks very much for the overnight. Nice for the visit. I've got a match and I'm taking it to everything you said. A gust of wind in my lungs, a wild fire. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it and give us a thumbs up. It helps us heaps.